He's not a horrible defender, but you still have to try to make him work a little. Well, the shots are falling for one of the best three-point shooting teams in the land. But on the other side of that, if we stress the positives, he got a chance. Well, that's not going to help their chance. Played him at Providence. Here is Howard. He gets pumped. Boy, count it. The corner as well as his. Now you allow Pickett to have a more open shot. Speaking of open shots, Marcus Howard really likes the player. The way that the bench has reacted for Jace Johnson this yeah. evening. Samir Torrance, the freshman. Yes, his second triple of the evening with an exclamation mark. Dominating Georgetown really from start to finish. Inbound. Almost lost it. Gets it to Gilliard. Francis fakes the deep three. Drives for the runner and the lead. What did they come up with out of the timeout? One more pass to Sherrod. Biggest lead of the game for the Spiders. They had not had a field goal in four and a half minutes. Sherrod is lighting it up from downtown Richmond. Saturday, there's George Washington up there. 28%, I believe, they shot. Gilliard, exclamation point. Chris Moody and the Richmond Spiders with an exhilarating 80-63 victory. Good ball movement. Sneed was open. I thought he should have took it. Yep. Wow. Lewis wanted to get it to Solomon Young, but Mike McGurl said, no, I'll take that. Well, one of the reasons it's so hard for Iowa State and aggressive to the hole goes Mike McGurl. Pass behind Young from Grill. The drive, Sloan and one. He has come off the floor for the final time here at Bramlage Coliseum on Senior Day. Yeah, and you know, it's Kansas State wins it over Iowa State 79-63. The spectator rebounded strongly with two hands. Cross will pull up for three, and it goes for Kevin Cross. Only they skip it, Kavas, Cheatham against Boudreaux. Now it's Mack, never set his feet, didn't matter. Feet away three for Cam Mack. He made damage done the last couple of series. They had to hold the double there on the post. Lead down to seven, but there's the freshman. It's going to be... How long can Williams play? You know, he doesn't play a ton of minutes of ball game, but he's going to have to stay out there now. For a moment, but now Mack. Stefanovic back defensively. The bounce! The dunk! First big win as the Husker head coach. Win number one in Big Ten play, knocking off Purdue 70 to 56. There's three assists to go along with those three rebounds. There he is again. He got to top it, who jams it home. It's 20 to 12. Third, fourth that he's missed inside. Yeah, he seems to be a little off around the rim. Very strange. And Martin for three. He cans it from the left wing. For not forcing a bad shot. Pull it out, run your offense. Down, hedged out. To the corner, Russell open for three, got it. My offense through him in this last three minutes. He comes up to hedge on Russell. Walker heads to the basket. He had some daylight, he lays it in. Martin heads to the basket, sweeps in and lays it in. VCU's home winning streak will come to a close as Rhode Island has come south and has won it by a final score of 65 to 56. It's two that points zero so far. More than halfway through the first half. Jalen Hill feeling it. Except for Baylor beating Kansas and Kansas beating Baylor. Baylor is taking care of Kansas State right now and Waco pretty handy. So what's been the difference? Making shots early in the sloppy play like that of Texas Tech from the very start of this game. Eight turnovers for the Raiders. Maddock follows his own miss. And threes on the floor altogether for the first time in quite a while. Been essentially a double digit lead most of the night for Oklahoma. And it's been led by that man, Christian Doolittle. But they manage only 51 tonight in Oklahoma City. And Oklahoma responds to.
to the challenge. He liked the matchup he had. He had Malcolm Dandridge and Lance Thomas guarding him. I have to think if that's the case, Jariah Horn's going to look to be aggressive. They finished above where they were picked. A really good pass right there by Brandon Rochelle of not panicking. That, that, that floor. Yeah. Chua loses You yeah. have nobody out here with any experience. And this is what happens. Turnovers for Tulsa. That, that's on the players, though. Yeah. You know, it's, you can coach them up as much as you want, but at the end of the day, you should, if you're a college basketball fan, you definitely should see. Shot clock winding down here. Step back jump shot by Hill. Rattles home. Everything continues. Hill will dribble it out. And the final score, the Tulsa Golden Hurricane all over Memphis, 80 to 40. Offensively, but that still doesn't account for a team that's this talented. LB, three. Five left in the half. That's a deep two. And he gets the roll. Corner three, stroke. Which is a big time adjustment for him when you think about how talented he is. First fouls, here he is in the open court again. Recovers and banks it in. Down. I was a precursor and. Noah Williams shovels it to Ellaby. Off balance, 32. And Washington State continues to play terrific basketball. Again, as we talked off the top, overall, it's two point shooting percentage. North Carolina is at its worst as a program since 1958 for the Panthers thus far in the first 17 minutes of this game. Johnson with the finger at halftime at North Carolina came back and won the second half, so I'm sure that's something he mentioned to his team, but there's been no lack of effort by the Panthers here to start the second half. Great job by Trey McGowans to read that pass, force the turnover. Barring when you see some of the numbers that come at you from the target. And it's even more, you know, jarring because it's North Carolina. Whoa. So the state of the program at the moment for North Carolina, this is a huge victory for Coach Capel and his Pittsburgh Panthers. Best interest of the entire team being on a plane up here to keep him at home. So Jacobo going to get some minutes. Glover had it taken out of his hands by Drew Smith. Drew, layup is good. Handoff pass to Blackshear. He was wide open underneath, but Mitchell Smith at 6'10", tapped it away. Pick it in the lane. Watson is there. Bring it around to pick it. That's a big, that's a big shot right there. Watson inside again, and wow. it rolls in. Wow. First win for Missouri over Florida since February of 2015.